join a fraternity because I thought it would be a new experience for me to experience, to go through. And I thought it would be something fun. I like get to meet a lot of new people. I personally did not plan on joining fraternity in high school or even like as soon as I got here. I used to uh, hate fraternities pretty much. I thought they were just a bunch of uh, idiots. I actually always knew I wanted to be in a sorority. My mom was a Kappa at U of M. So growing up, she would take me to the Kappa house. I had a huge bias towards them and thought it was just a bunch of like drunken, like I picture my football team basically coming in just get, gain a house and getting wasted together and just be a bunch of drunken idiots. But I actually found out that uh, it's a lot more to it than just that. So uh, after joining, I, I definitely had a different view about it and I like it a lot. When I was in high school, I didn't plan on joining a fraternity. I didn't really plan on joining one when I got up to college. It was kind of something that happened to me in my freshman year. Actually, in high school, my senior year, I was voted most likely to join a sorority. I think, hopefully, because everyone knew I wanted to be in it, but there was never really a question in my mind. My freshman year, when I came, I knew I was going to rush. Uh, I went to my house, or the house I joined, and uh, I met the guys. They ended up being really cool, a lot different than I thought they'd be like. They weren't a bunch of, uh, bunch of morons. So I ended up rushing, I got in. I would not join a sorority, especially if it was a drinking sorority. I don't know, I think they're okay, but I personally wouldn't really join one. So far, I think it's been a good choice for me. It was a really good decision, I love it. Now that I'm in, I'm glad I did it. It's a lot of fun, I've done a lot of things I wouldn't have done if I would have been in a fret. My favorite part about being in a uh, fraternity would have to be um, playing sports and uh, Greek week was very fun. That was just this past two weeks. Um, uh, definitely the parties and we also went on a ski trip this semester which was very fun. My favorite part about being in a sorority is definitely all the girls. I met my best friends here. Uh, I say my favorite part about being in a fraternity is again meeting new people, networking, and just having fun. I'd say the worst part was uh, all the time it takes. I didn't put a whole lot of effort towards my classes and stuff, but uh, I'm still doing good in them, so it's not really a big problem. My least favorite part is definitely the petty stuff. I've lived in the house for two years now, and it's been a great experience. I love it. There's always stuff going on. You get so close with girls. But at the same time, sometimes people get on your nerves. You realize that um, a lot of people have a lot of growing up to do. Like sometimes you'll walk in the bathroom and find dirty dishes from, the night, from dinner the night before in the bathroom. It kind of makes me mad when people in sororities and fraternities just call themselves Greek because they're not really Greek. They're like, basically it's a club and being in a club doesn't make them Greek. My family is from Greece. I'm half Greek. Truly Greek. I really don't have very many uh, factors about being in a fraternity I dislike. I, if there was one that I'd have to single out, it would probably just be cleaning this place uh, as much as we do because uh, I personally don't like it to be dirty here so cleaning it uh, definitely is one of the big things that kind of sucks. You know, the main thing about being a pledge is like you're part of the fraternity on a trial basis. Uh, it's, you know, eight or nine weeks long is a pledge term and the main goal of it is uh, see how you really are in different situations, like at parties or at a formal event or if you're at someone else's house, how do you act? And the main thing is just to get to know everybody so they can see how you really are. I don't think I will ever join a sorority because I simply don't have the time. So yeah, pledging, like people worry that it's going to be too much time their freshman year. And actually, I found it a lot easier to balance because you knew you had to get stuff done and it like made you time plan your time accordingly and like for me my freshman year actually like four point my first semester I was like well 
if I go to the library and study during the day, I can go, you know, hang out at Theta at night. The pledging process involves just a bunch of little fun activities and just basically learning respect for one another and getting to know everyone in this house and basically what we're about and what we like to contribute to the campus. Uh, I'd say the best part about pledging is just you know, getting to meet all these new people and do things that uh, don't usually do. It's not like a fraternity. It's actually a lot better. <laughs> it's kind of like they have to do stuff and we get stuff. So I would say the main part of the pledge process is just getting to know the actives and brothers that are already in the house. You have to come to meetings every week during your pledge term and there's different stuff you have to learn. Like you have to learn um, certain songs and you're supposed to learn about like the history. Um. Yeah, after pledging, it does give me the confidence, I think, uh, to become friends with just about anybody. I was always a pretty confident kid, but it's kind of gave me a little bit more. Sororities don't haze their members, and fraternities do. We actually do not haze here, so there is no hazing. Uh, I think hazing is kind of stupid, but it uh, can be funny at the same time. The hazing on campus has definitely been cut down from what I had heard it used to be. Um, I know Pi Cap of uh, Phi just recently got rechartered because they were kicked off campus or their charter was taken away um, due to hazing. And I know IFC, the Interfraternity Council here on campus, has regulated it so strictly that there can't be any more hazing. I pay $400 a semester for living in the house, and if you don't live in the house, you pay $450 a semester. Uh, I do think the frat gives me what I pay for with my dues because there are certain things that we do that's a lot of fun. I, I definitely have uh, put quite a deal of money into this house as well as like uh, material donations and even though it's been quite a lot of uh, stuff and it comes out of my own pockets and not my parents, I definitely still have gotten my money's worth. If frats were free, I have more of a consideration of probably joining. Each year we do Greek week, the whole campus will do that. And this year the people that contributed to Relay for Life, we raised um, $114,000 for Relay for Life, just our Greek community. We get a lot of bad rap about being known as like social organizations that just party. What people overlook is all the money we raise for charitable organizations, like over $75,000 during Greek week for the American Cancer Society. What other organization is there around East Lansing that puts that gives that much back to the community, you know? But people forget about that. Sororities are regulated by the Panhellenic Council, and fraternities are regulated by um, IFC, which is the in Intra-Fraternal Council or whatever. I think the IFC does do a good job at regulating. Um, they'll walk through, like when we have a social function here, just to check to make sure there's like no glass bottles, um, and basically just like it's not like out of control here. <laughs> I 
don't think they're completely necessary because we can have people in the house designated to do basically the tasks that they do for a much uh, cheaper amount. Like it would save us money and I, I really don't see where all the money goes that we give them. I do agree that it is necessary for IFC to make certain rules for us to follow because without any rules and regulations there can only be chaos. Sometimes PNL gets really annoying because um, they have some pretty strict rules. We've been on social probation for quite a few semesters and it's like for stuff we don't even do. I mean they like get mad at us because we have a one-on-one -on -one because Ten girls from our house are hanging out with ten boys from another house where maybe it's our best friends, and that's considered a one-on-one. -on -one, so we get on probation, and not allowed to have date parties anymore, which is really annoying. And even my parents are like, "You're going to college, and they're regulating the way you party." You know, that's kind of sad. But whatever, we deal with it. Harder? Harder? Yeah. I don't think that there is a sorority type girl, but I think there's definitely a stereotype that there is. I honestly say I don't think there is a fraternity type guy. At least not now, because I didn't think of myself as a fraternity type guy, yet I'm in one. And I've seen many other guys go through that I didn't believe were fraternity type guys. I don't really think there's a specific, like, person that would uh, fit, like, the fraternity guy. In my sorority, there's such a diverse group of girls. I mean, you go from the definite stereotypical sorority girls who um, always do their makeup before class and do their hair and only buy expensive clothes and only, you know, like are concerned about everything and all those little things. And then you go to the girls who do not care, wake up out of bed, go to class, are like major town boys. Uh, you know, there's probably some people out there that, you know, view France as just paying for your friends. That's how I was, but uh, I used to think like that. But now that I'm in one, it's totally different. I feel like a lot of the guys and, you know, I'm sure there are people that are just there to, you know, try and look like they have friends in front of people walking by or something, you know. People sometimes think that, you know, sorority girls are just stupid and ditzy and just like to party, but no, we like to do good too and get good grades and have fun at the same time. So that's the good part about Greek life is that you can do a little bit of everything and you can meet a lot of people that are like you that want to be involved in the things you want to be involved in. There are some secrets that members are not allowed to reveal. Actually, there's quite a few. Um, they're just like ritual, our different, you know, ceremonies for like initiation and um, like pledge pinning and stuff like that. And that's basically all I can say. We have a chapter room that no one can go in unless they're a member. But the, it's nice to have that. And we have like a secret handshake and stuff. And it's nice to have um, those things because they're there's something that you hold in common with every theta in the world. All right, well, we, we do have a couple secrets here and there, uh, mainly just inside jokes, if you'd like to say. And then there's some obvious traditions, but uh, we do have to keep those a secret. Yeah. I think that every house has secrets. I don't know what others are, but I figure everyone has ritual. Everyone has an initiation. Fraternities probably do have more secrets than sororities. I mean, I've definitely heard stories from boys, but that's another thing. Girls can definitely keep secrets better than boys, so, you know, we can hear some of their secrets and they don't know any of ours. Brotherhood means to me basically just being a good friend and uh, having good respect for one another. It's basically just basic friendship. Brotherly, brotherly love, I guess, is what you could say. To me, a brotherhood is a group of guys that's always there for you no matter what. 
call anytime, day or night, and they'll do anything for you. Yeah, fraternities, like, some of them, you know, they might, you might have to be a drinker to get in, but I know the one I'm in, we accepted a couple guys that don't drink, and there's a couple of my active brothers that don't drink, so pretty much do what you want. You want to drink, go for it. If you don't, don't worry about it. No one's going to make fun of you or anything like that. In a way, I do feel closer to my brothers than I do with my other friends because we've been through certain experiences that only we have been through together. I'd have to say the skills I've taken so far from being this, a part of this house are definitely leadership skills, definitely communication skills, and our house is very business oriented. Uh, for anyone that's thinking about maybe joining a frat or not even thinking about it, go to a frat during rush week. You can get free food and pop and stuff and hang out. Just go check it out. It's probably way different than you imagine. I hated frats so much, but I ended up joining one. It's uh, a lot different than the movies and all that stuff. <laughs> Because fraternity life is the life for me. Oh. I'm the upper crust of society. Oh. Brotherly love for a monthly fee. Oh. Fraternity life is the life for me. Thank you. Fraternity life. Fraternity life. Fraternity One time when I was working at Taco Bell and this frat guy came in and he was drunk as hell and he decided that it would be funny to pay us with a dollar bill that he had wiped his ass with and there was literally shit all over it. <laughs> 